Hi everyone, this is Johnny Onos, and I'm playing Starbound version 1.0, and in this Let's Learn episode, I'm going to fulfill the request of a couple comments that I've seen regarding a, the two-button elevator that I made, where um, they were saying that what happens when the platform is not at the level that you're currently residing in? Like, what do you do? Do you just jump down the elevator shaft, or jump up the elevator shaft? Well, I've done a, a lot of different methods to this, and the, the great thing is, is that the simplest solution is actually also the most elegant. <clears throat> so what I've done here is I have a series of small switches that are on each of the floors. Now, all I've done is I've connected these to all of the other rail stops on each of the other levels. And what this means is each of the other levels are going to go green except for this one. So if I flip this switch here, all the other levels are going to go green and the rail is going to eventually stop at my current floor. It works out really nicely. Now I did a bunch of things regarding like, you know, if you hit this button, it, it does the up button for every single one of the other floors or, you know, that sort of thing. Or uh, what else did I do? I had like rail sensors that would sense if a if a uh, platform was coming and then if it wasn't the number it wasn't the floor that you were currently on then uh it wouldn't it wouldn't open the gate or wouldn't close the gate so all those other solutions required a ton more gates per floor now if you really like to see one of those let me know i'll make a video about it but for a for the elevator that i've got currently in my base this works perfectly so let's just say i'm on the bottom floor here all i have to do is hit the switch Everything else will go green, and it will stop right at the floor that I'm at. Just show you another example of it. Very simple. Just flip the switch again, and now I can use the elevator as expected. So you may be saying, okay, what happens if I have a floor that's like way, way far away? How do you connect these wires? Now, I'll show you that you can use OR gates as an extension cord. So like this, uh, so this little elevator system that I have here, both of the buttons on either side will call, will power the rail stop on each side. So if I, um, right, let's go ahead and move this elevator up here. If I click on this button, this will turn green and eventually the platform will come on back as well because that these two buttons are connected to or the two buttons on either side are connected to the rail stops on either side it's coming my base is a little laggy here it comes here it comes but as you'd imagine when <laughs> this elevator is kind of useless it'd be a lot faster just to sprint but anyways, that's kind of my solution to controlling platforms and and controlling which level they, they, they reside on. If you have any questions at all, please go ahead and leave a question in the comment section below. And if you'd be interested to see the more complex ways to do this, I can definitely whip up another video that shows you that. It just, it felt like, it felt oh, too overly complicated for what little it was doing, where if you just threw a switch down and connected to all the rail stops, you're basically good to go. Alright folks, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.